Democrats are getting their kicked. We need some way to road test a more rural friendly message. If you can't live your principles in the bad times, I guess they aren't principles, they're just hobbies. Nice. John Wayne and a tractor have a baby, and all you can say is nice. Really nice. Oh my God, it's nice. nice. so nice. His politics made The Daily Show a hit, and now John Stewart writes and directs Irresistible. And why the name? It was just kind of the working title. I was trying to think of what would make something sound sort of like a romantic comedy or something along those lines, but was really about the irresistible pull of a narrative to the political system. I am telling you guys, Jack could be the real deal. This little campaign of ours has caught the attention of the National Republican Party. Why are you here? Because crushing the last piece of hope in your eyes really gets me off. It's good to see you. Yeah. You look fat. This is like more of a portrait, I mean, or less a portrait than a landscape, isn't it? It's more like a landscape of a story. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate that, that comment because that's, you know, I, I looked at it as, Rather than being a weatherman, I was trying to be a climatologist. But I think, ah. uh, to, to your point, a portrait view versus a landscape view is exactly right. And I think the idea is you think you're watching the portrait view, and then at the end, you, you hopefully will see it as a landscape view. Don't put all the black ones in the center. He's running as a moderate. Hey, so nostalgia. You hear a bunch of old guys like me talking about the good old days. So when are the good old days? Are these ever going to be the good old days? Are, you know. How, what, what's your I mean, we that? always, I, listen, I, I think it's nostalgia for a reason. Yeah. You know, we remember it as the good old days because we were kids. Um, I think this moment, as difficult as it may seem, presents opportunity. And, you know, anytime people step back and try and address a system that they feel like isn't working for them, feels like an opportunity to create a better system that will. And for me, that feels hopeful. So I, I, love, I, I feel hopeful. I, lo I love your take. And I tell you what, we miss you, we miss you seeing, you, seeing you on television. But this film's a must see. And I got to tell you, so satisfying at the end. It's one of those movies where you look at each other and you go like, wow, that was good. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much for, for taking the time to watch it. That's a lie. No, no that's what are you even <laughs> okay. doing? Uh, well, that's here. always a great here. and spirited Thank you so much. No, hey, no. Are you CIA? Why don't you hand over that phone before you get yourself in big trouble? Won't you get in big trouble for having your cover blown by a nine-year-old? He's recording this and streaming it to the cloud. Can't you do that? Yeah, not actually that hard. It looks like 11-year-old Chloe Coleman has Big Dave Batista over a barrel. My spy graduates Chloe from the set of Big Little Lies to the big screen. He's, he's much taller than me. I think he's like... <laughs> Six two, Dave is like six three or something. I'm I'm actually been getting a bit taller now. I'm I think I'm four ten or eleven. <laughs> my my foot size is as big as my mom's. Yeah, that's great. Hey, so how, how how about those scenes where you where he's in, trying to intimidate you and then you end up intimidating him? Yeah. Tell me about some of those scenes. Uh, I think since they're you know kind of opposites. They kind of, you know, bicker at each other sometimes, but it, it's interesting because she she sees him as a father figure, so deep down she really loves him and looks up to him. But um, they, they're both, you know, she sometimes outsmarts him and then he sometimes outsmarts her. It's just, you know, it's, it's the, the relationship that they have, they're almost in a way kind of helping each other. I just want to break the rules. 